Hey everyone, in today's video, I got this gigantic can, which is 59 years old from 1963. We're going to be opening this thing up today. This thing has spent the past 59 years up until recently inside a nuclear bomb shelter. It was never used, and today we're going to open this thing up. It says on the top of it, Civil Defense Carbohydrate supplement and here's the ingredients sugar corn syrup true and artificial flavors and that's about it and it's got food dye in it it's unmarked when it was packed there's some scribbles it looks like possibly a four and it's from john charles company california and now because this can is in such good shape I'm going to open it from the bottom with this can opener. This can's extremely heavy, weighing in at 37 pounds. It's definitely the heaviest can we've opened on this channel, and definitely the most expensive. This came from an online auction for $110 after shipping and taxes. I want to make this thing look like it's in good shape. I'm not going to be opening it right here. Right here, I got a package of P38 can openers. Since typically I'll use my electric can opener, we have no way of making that thing fit properly on a can this big. It might be able to kiss the edge, but I don't think so. So typically you'd use this small can opener. And I don't see how you'd get it around the actual center where you're supposed to open it. There's no way to get it on there at all. Wow, no way to do it. Can you do it on the edge? Yeah, but it looks like it'll work on the edge. Now we're gonna flip this thing over. And we're gonna try the contents. I'm gonna open it from the bottom with this can opener. Styrofoam is so messy. I hate when people pack with that. It makes such a mess. There's still pieces of it. It was a disaster when I originally opened the box. All right, before we open this up, I want to do a quick look over at the can up close, just so you can see everything on it. Definitely a massive can. Had very little damage, very little rust, just a few dents, a little bit of corrosion. Now here's what I was telling you all about. You're supposed to be able to open it from the top. I could definitely do it with a knife. You see? Maybe if I punched it through once, you might be able to get enough. But I'm not sure how they would have opened this. Now I'm hoping from the bottom, this little can opener will be the answer to this when I flip it over. Look over there, we might even be able to try the can opener out, that electric one. I doubt that would be able to grip this easily when we flip it around. But this thing is 37 pounds from 1963. It's amazing. Spent the last 59 years, almost 60 years inside a nuclear shelter, never to be used. And just bought it at an auction. So this right here is supposed to contain a bunch of hard candy. It definitely sounds like it when you shake it around. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. What do you guys think? Is it going to make a hiss when we pierce this for the first time in 59 years? Is this even going to work, this can opener? I'm trying to think of a what's the best spot to do this. There's not really much for it to catch on. Uh, wow. You saw that? The whole thing went bump, bump, bump. That thing was vacuum packed. Pretty cool. Now here we go. This is going to take some time. Definitely going to take some time. This is a very weird 
edge to be doing this on. Whoa, thing is still expanding. It still hasn't got used to this normal pressure of the earth. Wow. Yeah, I, this is definitely not the way you're supposed to open this. This is such a pain in the butt, and it doesn't look like I'm making any progress. Yeah, this thing is not making any progress. This is not a normal can to be opening. Let's try this out with a knife instead. Maybe it'll work a little better. Not working. Hmm. Weird, musty smell. I just, I just sniffed some air from the early '60s in there. Honestly, it smells like that orange drink they had back in the '80s. It's exactly what it smells like—that powdered stuff. We've opened that up in old videos before. All right, prepare for a long time lapse of me trying to get this open. All right, that actually worked pretty well. The P38, I actually bent it and broke off the little tooth that's supposed to hold on in there. I can't believe it. But now that we got this thing going, let's see if I can peel this thing up and over. All righty, let's try to get our first glimpse of what the inside looks like. Wow, that doesn't actually look bad at all. I've opened herd candies from the 50s before, which is even older than this. And they turned out fine. It was these lemon drops in a old video I made. These actually look perfect. Wow. I think I did a pretty good job opening that up with the knife. Yeah, hurt myself a little bit. That's how, that's how I got that, too. Guess I'm not being careful enough. Anyways, look at that. Look at all that sugar in there. It's got a really strong, like, chemical smell, like I mentioned, like that orange drink from the 80s has that same weird smell to it. All right, everyone, I think this product actually looks really cool inside. We're going to give this thing a taste test, then I'm going to head off to the store. I want to try to find the biggest mason jar I can to save this in as a decoration. Let's see how they taste. What is this going to be like? Cherry, apple, something like that? Let's give them a taste test. It might be cherry, it might be a strawberry mix. Very sweet. I love it. I see no problem with this. It's a dry product from the 60s. And I do intend on eating whatever doesn't fit in the biggest mason jar I can find. Really good, actually. Very tasty. Hmm. 
so now is this dark yellow one and this yellow one a different flavor it looks like it let's give it a try what is this a random ball of sugar in there I just want to give these a try, see if they're different. Definitely lemon, that one. Hmm. Now the bright one. Are they the same, or is it just a different mix, different batch, and they just mix them together? To me, they are the same thing. All right. I'm not going to let these go to waste. All right, let's head off to the store, see what we can find for a big mason jar. All right, now we're going to try to find a very big mason jar. I can't believe it. After a half an hour, the candies are still in my mouth. Small, but still there. It appears they're all sold out of the big ones. I guess Walmart has closer to what I'm looking for. They got some pretty big ones here. Yeah. I guess I'll buy these. Check out the size of this one. This one's even bigger. Alright guys, coming back, I did get a good amount of large mason jars and whatever I don't use will be good. I can use it for food storage at some point. I think this is about the only thing I miss about living in a city, having stores close because I got to drive an hour to get to the closest town that has a store. Alright guys, now that we're back from the store, I got these mason jars here and by the looks of it, we might actually need them all. There is so much candy here. Uh, these two right here I'm going to keep here as a display just to look nice and the others I might slowly eat. Now, here's another fact that I may have to look into. It's okay to eat a few without a problem, but back in the 60s there's a lot of red dye that has been banned these days because it's cancer causing. Like I have a video of myself having Kool-Aid from the 1960s and the dye in that is now banned. But doing it once, I doubt, would really hurt you too much. People back then used to drink it all the time. But yes, just doing it once, it's in you. It's possible. But I don't see a big risk in it. But I'm basically going to keep this as a decoration. I think it's pretty. If you look at them, they're all kind of misshapen. None of them are perfect. It's cool. When you eat one of them, it's like a Sour Patch. This coating on it, whatever that might be. What do you guys think that could be? It's very sour, then it's very sweet afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and open up these mason jars and see what we can get to fit in them. Oh wow, there is so much powder once you dig into it. All right, we're gonna start pouring this instead. This thing is so heavy and awkward. Oops, dropped a few. Put another handful now just by shaking it up.
Wow, everybody, that is a lot of hard candy. There is enough in there to fill the rest of these, but it's more of uh, dusty consistency. A lot of that I'm going to eat myself or just dump as I clean it out. This is cool. Look what was inside it. These are little paper bags, so you could hand it out to everyone who's eating it. Tons and tons of little paper bags. Awesome. And a random piece right here. Very dry hands from handling that. Very cool, very tasty products. All right, we're gonna go rinse that thing out. Then we're gonna go put these on shelves. Then we got some cleanup to do. There's a lot of dust. I crushed one of them. And when these when this was shipped to me, there's a styrofoam mess too. I gotta clean up. All right, now that we're in the bathroom, let's see if we can make like some reddish water by pouring out the rest of this. Look at this. What the? Literally, one of the legs on my tripod just failed. And it's closed. Alright, let's see if we can make some reddish water by cleaning this out. There's still like another jar's worth in there. Wow, I hear them crinkling and cracking open as the hot water hits them. Wow, they're so dry. As soon as the water hits, you hear them all bursting. Cool, it sounds like Pop Rocks. That's kind of cool. It smells so sweet in here now. Kind of smells like you're mixing up some cherry jello in the room. Very strong smell. That was fun. Now I'm going to dispose of that. It's so mushy and sticky now.
The house smells so good right now after doing that thing with the water. Well, everyone, that was interesting. We have a lot of decorative jars of candy now that I'm really not going to eat. It tasted really good. There's nothing wrong with it. It held up to 60 years. My only concern is there may be cancer-causing dye. I know a lot of dyes from back in those days were recalled. All right, everyone, I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hmm, found another one on the floor.